What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about release day maps for Battlefield 2042. I will link all this information down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. But there will be seven base game maps on release day and that's going to include the game modes like Hazard Zone and Conquest. And then there will be six portal mode maps as well on release day. So we're going to get seven base, uh, seven base game maps and then six portal game mode maps. The seven base game mode maps we're going to have for things like Hazard Zone and Conquest. I know a lot of people thought Hazard Zone was going to have its own individual maps, but that's not going to be the case. Hazard Zone will be played uh, on these seven maps, just like Conquest can be. Uh, these seven maps are going to be Hourglass, Discarded, Manifest, Kaleidoscope, Orbital, Breakaway, and Renewal. You've probably seen clips from a lot of these maps in you know, trailers and things of that nature. Of course, we did get to play... Uh, orbital in the beta itself a few days back but those seven maps look to be pretty interesting now, some of them look to be very big some of them look to be kind of like the orbital size uh, map but overall i think seven maps for the base game for uh, hazard zone and for uh, conquest on release day is pretty good and then when it comes to the portal mode on release day we will have six mo uh, six maps for the portal mode uh, which will be classic battlefield maps. So just for example, things like Battle of the Bulge, uh, Caspian Border, No Shark Canals, just to name a few. So some maps that are classic maps that you will recognize from past battlefield titles. I think that is a pretty good map count to start out from day one. So if you're a fan of Conquest, a fan of Hazard Zone, you know, a fan of playing you know, multiplayer uh, in the traditional uh, sense, Seven maps is going to be pretty good. And if you're a fan of the portal mode, which I think if the portal mode is handled correctly, it's probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a while that any company do. It's a very innovative idea to me to kind of have a sandbox where you can create your own game modes with all the different Battlefield titles and these classic maps and kind of do what you want. I think the portal mode is going to have its own big community. That That's all they really do. And having six maps for portal mode is a, a, a good start in my opinion as well. Now, DICE and EA have not given us a lot of details yet about how microtransactions how their live service idea is going to work we know they're going to have a live service kind of thing so we will get more maps and things uh, you know as the game's life cycle goes on kind of like battlefield 5 where you get a free map you know here and there i'm hoping they do you know once it starts you know maybe a map or two every month or so i think would be nice i think a lot of people would like to see that because once you start playing the game for a while and you've played a lot seven maps is a good bit but at the same time you're going to want to see new maps brought in and i think they will do that uh, with their, you know, live service that they're going to do. Uh, also, I, I think they'll continue to bring classic maps back for, uh, you know, the portal mode. And they may even kind of interchange some of these. We may start seeing some of the classic maps in regular multiplayer, and we may start seeing some of the new maps from multiplayer go into the portal mode itself. So I'm really, I'm really curious to see exactly how they're going to handle that. But I think seven uh, base maps on release day for the multiplayer and six maps for the portal mode is a good start. My only concern is map size. Uh, we know that Orbital is a medium sized map. So there are a couple maps in the game that are a lot bigger than Orbital. And I feel like at times uh, in Orbital, there were some fights you know, that were really good. You know, you get certain maps and, and certain flags, there was a lot of action. Then sometimes you kind of felt like you're out in no man's land, just walking around and didn't see anyone. It's kind of just wasted space. On old gen consoles, this is going to be a big concern if you play on PS4 or Xbox uh, One. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work with 64 players total, you know, 32 on 32. These maps are going to feel enormous uh, on old gen. And I, of course, was playing on PS5 during the beta, and it still felt big to me at times on PS5, even with 128 players in the lobby. So that's my only concern is going to be map size, uh, mainly for old gen, but definitely for new gen consoles and PC as well. I feel like some of these maps may be a bit too big in some places where it just feels like it's a lot of wasted space. But we'll kind of have to just wait and see once the game is released here in about, what, 28, 29 days. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this map pool count. Do you think seven maps for the base game and six for the portal is good enough from the you know start date or from the release date? And how many maps would you like to see kind of going forward? Would you like to see a lot of maps released or just a little bit of kind of small map content every couple months? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.